I used to drink a bottle of wine every night, but I was drinking away my neural pathways. I was in a wheelchair and struggled to walk, talk and eat. I gave up drinking in 2020 and retrained my neural pathways. I started to walk, podcast, ride my can and Rika. I even wrote a book. I'm now vlogging and travelling around the world, promoting positive recovery with sobriety and disability. I hope you enjoy my journey. We're here today to celebrate 100 years of Grafton Girl Guys, of which Rhiannon and Lily are part. There's a lovely coffee morning with gluten-free goodies and cakes. I'm being very, very good though because they have got sugars. And tonight they're having a nice um, posh meal somewhere. So I think that's something to celebrate. And I've seen a few bits in here that I quite like. Especially I was so excited when I saw the brownies, sorry, handbook. I was like, oh, I had one of them. The lady inside has been interviewed for the radio. How do we get to even more girls and uh, empowering girls and young women? So we want more people to come along and, and join and volunteer and, and have the great and really fun experiences and memory making that you get when you're outdoors or you're doing leadership activities or learning how to show up in the world as well. I think that's really, really important. I've just been speaking to a lovely lady from the radio show. She's been volunteering for them for 17 years. It's called Loving Life FM and it's actually been going for 25 years. So, and it's great. And they're really promoting like the community and loving life. What's not to love? When I got sober, I started loads of new hobbies and I treated myself and bought all these yarns and a book on macrame and how to make friendship bracelets and I can't understand any of it so I'm really really excited to see that Rhiannon is going to teach me how to make them. So you cut off seven strands of wool, you tie them all together in a little loop knot and then you put one strand all through there and then with this bit closest to you, you take the third strand of wool from the right, so that will be my green one, and bring the strand into the empty cup. Right, I'll do that. I'm gonna to have to go and ask Rhiannon. I brought it up into the cup, but now there should be a new empty cup. Oh, I see, that's why I've got to actually take it off. Oh, <coughs> this is confusing already. Yeah, one sec. Yeah. So you find your gap and go yep. one, two, three. Yeah. Right, so bring it over the top. One, two, three. And just keep going in the same oh direction. One, two, three. I'm going to get my direction confused, <laughs> I know, but I will give it a go. You look like the expert. <laughs> Yay, I'm doing it. But I'm getting a little bit tangled. But we'll be expecting anything less. I'm making you a friendship blade. I'm making you a friendship bracelet even, Julia. Oh, Do you like your tangled mess? It's lovely. It took me five minutes to achieve that. Imagine what you could achieve in six hours on a flight. You'd be tied yeah. to the chair. <laughs> so I thought I was doing really good. One, two, three. Look, spin, push it through, pull it out and spin round. One, two, three. I thought, marvellous, I'm doing really well. And then Lily says, Karina, once you get used to it, you can do it without spinning. 